In this lesson, I'm going to take a look at friend functions. What's a friend function? What's it going to do for us? Well, let's take a look at or revisit our old problem of direct access to the private member variables of a class, in this case, the fraction class. We tried to write a global function, multifrax, where inside we attempted to directly access the private member variables of the class. And so what happened? Well, it didn't work. That's not legal. We simply can't directly access those private member variables. So what we did was we built some accessor mutator functions to help us out. Well, you know, that's kind of cumbersome at times. And there's a quicker, easier way to deal with the problem. That is to use a friend function. So what's a friend function? Well, a function is a friend function if it has been designated by the class to be a friend function of the class. And that means it's given direct access rights to the private member section of the class. The keyword friend will never be used outside of a class. It always is used inside of a class, the class that is designating the friendship, that is giving the access to its private uh, section. Okay, so you never want to use the word friend outside of a class. In our example, we're going to declare, here's the prototype, inside of the class, we're going to declare as a friend this function called multifrax. It returns a fraction and takes two fractions as arguments. Here's the definition of it. Notice that it is not scoped. It's not scoped here as a member function of the class. It's a global function. This access, all of these right here, are now legal, even though this is a non-member function. Because it has been granted friendship, so to speak, to the fraction class, then it has direct access rights to the private member variables of the fraction class. So it works. Everything's fine. Everything's hunky-dory. But there's one thing that you don't want to do. You do not want to put that word friend outside of the class. Now here's the full function definition. Again, we've declared it as a friend. And here's the definition where I have declared a temporary fraction. I've built that temporary, and then I return that temp. No friend outside here. You only put friend inside. Putting friend outside of the class definition like this is not acceptable. It won't compile. It doesn't make any sense. That's sort of like saying that this is a friend to the entire world. So you don't want to do such a thing. Bad thing to do. OK, so now you know what a friend of a class is. You should use that sparingly. Remember that it creates a hole in your security system. You should never use a friend unless you actually have to. There are cases where you do. One example is the insertion operator. It's most convenient if you make it a friend. And we'll take a look at it later. For now, that's the end of this session.